All right, hopefully that did that. Okay, hi, my name is Laura and I am the government documents librarian here at Roberts Library. Um, and I do a lot of other things too, but we are going to learn some things, just basic things about what the Federal Depository Library Program is and um, how you can look at government documents here in the library and online. And we do have one person joining us in the back, but I'll probably be facing the screen mostly um, so that you can see me and I'm also going to share my screen um, with you. Um, I will also, for anyone that's interested, I can put some links in the chat towards the end um, if you do want access to these resources. Um, otherwise, we will go ahead and get started. And at the end, um, or if you think of questions throughout, just go ahead and type those in the chat and then we will um, open the floor uh, later for questions at the end. Okay, let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, can someone let me know if that worked in the chat? If that, if you can see what, um, see my screen. I've got it on the Dalton State homepage. <clears throat> okay, thank you very much. All right, okay, so um, in case you are not familiar, um, Roberts Library has a government document collection uh, located on the first floor, um, just behind where the front desk is. Um, and we don't have a very big collection just because of the size of our library, but we are a selective repository, which means we don't get everything that the government publishes, but we select um, about 30% of what's published. Um, UGA Library um, selects everything. Um, they're the, they are the regional repository for the state of Georgia, um, so they have everything. But in case you um, haven't ever looked at our collection, I encourage you to come into the library um, and just ask one of us if you're not familiar where it is, um, and we can show you where that uh, collection is located. Uh, most everything in our government documents collection does check out except for like microfiche but people aren't really using microfiche much these days and if you did happen to want to use some we have some machines where you can um, view those and microfiche are like the little um, sheets of film that you need a machine to, to read so we're going to start off and go to the library homepage, and i'm going to go to the catalog and just show you how you can look for things that are in the government documents uh, collection. So I'm going to look up education just to see what we have. And over here on the left hand side, you can see what we've got available in the library, the different formats. And down here in the location is what I want to look at for government documents. We have 468 items. And not all of those are physical items. Um, most of those will probably be um, linked um, online access. Um, this first one you can see is in our physical collection and it has uh, this number after is called a SUDOC number. It looks a little different than a call number if you're familiar with um, our regular collection uh, circulating. Um, and that just tells us where that's located in the collection. So ED is the Department of Education, and then it goes down through the classification that way. Um, and the online access items are just like you would access in our regular collection. You just click on the link and it bumps over. And like I said, most things are linked electronically through this U.S. Government Publishing Office, the e-collection. Um, and as time goes on, it's going to be moving more and more towards the electronic um, formats just because it's easier to get access to um, and you can view it right from your screen, but we, we still have access to many physical documents as well. So 
depending on what you might want to be looking for, I'll probably focus on education for the purposes of this meeting. Um, but you can search for anything history, you can search for national parks, you can look for um, food, anything, um, and you can see what we have. And if we don't have it, we can try to link out to some of these resources that I'll be showing you in a minute um, and just kind of see what's available um, through the government resources. So the FDLP is the Federal Depository Library Program. And Roberts Library has been a member of that since 1978, I believe. So we've been in the program for quite some time, um, which is pretty cool that Dalton State has, has that um, since we are a smaller um, institution. But it gives us access to the publications from the federal government, like I mentioned in the beginning. And that is, um, we're going to go next to the site GPO, the Government Publishing Office. This is where our uh, most of our items that we are receiving um, that come, and I just got a shipment today, so they actually come in a box and then I open it up and I see what we have and then I'll catalog those and then put those on the shelf. Um, some of them that we get are um, related to the Department of the Interior, so for um, like any of the national parks or state parks. Um, a lot of the hearings, like the, the congressional hearings, um, we get all those in the U.S. reports. Uh, we also get a lot of like military things and history and um, things that have to deal with war, um, the Department of Defense. Um, but we do have a lot of, of a wide variety of um, items on our shelves, uh, but we also have more linked in that e-collection. We have almost half a million items in that um, GPO, or I'm sorry, yes, in the GPO e-collection that you can access through Dalton State Roberts Library's catalog. Um, so the GPO um, is just, I guess it kind of just, I just wanted to show you that you can see um, some of the latest news from um, the publishing office, um, events and training. They do offer events and you can see um, they've got two here. They do link their Facebook and social media. So in case you're interested in learning about what's going on in the publishing office or seeing what's going, um, different things that they have, you can always start at gpo.gov. Uh, down below um, on this web, web page, you can see that um, there are these six tiles um, that link out to different um, resources that we have for the government information. Um, GovInfo, we'll talk about in just a second. Ben's Guide to the U.S. Government, um, we're going to click on that just really quickly. It's more for like education um, and teaching, and you can see here you've got the age groups here, but you can be any age and play the little games and it makes it fun learning about um, how a law is made or uh, what's going on in um, in Congress and that sort of thing. Or you just might just want to look at the little learning adventures. So that's something to know if you are um, interested in teaching or if you have a, a child and you want to um, reinforce what they're teaching in the classroom. You can come here to get some fun little um, things like that to um, teach them. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is the catalog of U.S. government publications. Um, and this is the CGP for short. Oops, I think I accidentally clicked on something. There we go. CGP, um, and it functions very similar to the Dalton State uh, Roberts Libraries catalog. Um, you can see it gives you a basic search, advanced. You can look for all the new titles. We receive about a thousand new titles every month, um, electronic titles. So if you were interested in seeing what just came in um, last month, and they usually run a month behind. So December's um, is archived here. And after they archive a, a few years, they will bump it into the historical archive and then. Um, you can access those, but it, let's just look at one here. They have these links that you can link to. You can search to see, okay, I'm looking for something 
Um, let's see if they have anything in the Department of Education. Yes. So ED um, is the Department of Education. So we can just click on that and it'll link right to that document and then you can read it right there online. So that's really neat for the uh, catalog of gov government publications. You can use these. Um, you may want to look at our library catalog and then whatever um, whatever terms you're searching for with your research, you may also want to look at in the CGP and use that to help you with your research. So I just typed in education and it pulled up 79,000 results with that word in there. So I want to go back and maybe try an advanced search and do education and then maybe K-12 down here and see what happens. So that brought it down to 196 results. Um, the ones on um, the right hand side that have that link, the Perl, you can access those directly online. The other ones um, don't have online access, but we might be able to get those for you, uh, whether it be through interlibrary loan um, or another means like that. So um, let's see. So depending on if you're doing research, like let's say you are in K-12 and you're wanting to maybe look at statistics or uh, do a report on what's been happening in 2021, um, with some of the acts that have been passed, like the Cybersecurity Act of 2021, you can come here um, as well as in our catalog and see what links out to the documents. You can use these just as you would um, any document or book that you would find um, in our library. Um, that just helps to further strengthen your research and give you another layer of um, some place to, to look for uh, resources. So that is the catalog of government publications. Let's take a look next at govinfo.gov. So this is basically where you can kind of look for government information and see um, what's recently happening. Um, you can look at committee reports. Um, you can access articles. Uh, I do like how they have this trending because then you can see what has been recently either talked about um, or mentioned. Uh, they do have these popular ones over here, so like the congressional um, documents. Um, those are usually always looked at um, and I, when I come on here and, and take a look. The serial set, they have um, the, I guess, GPO or the federal depository FDLP people have been working to digitize the con congressional serial set um, and they have um, done quite a, a lot like last year they did quite a lot so you can look at that serial set online and um, see what it looks like um, through these links here but um, let's do an advanced here and see I'm not sure if this one's going to have similar to the catalog where you can look up different search terms. We might just have to look at these different collections, but they do have education reports. Um, so you can look at that if you're interested in focusing on education, different laws and that sort of thing. So this would be where you might want to browse what they have, their categories, maybe if you're interested in a certain committee. Um, you can look here to learn a little bit more about that. Okay, so let's see here. Oh yeah, you can also locate a federal depository library. So um, GPO's website will let you look for any of the depository libraries in the United States. So if you're traveling and you're interested in going to another depository library to see what government publications they have, you can also do that um, by clicking here. Uh, there are quite a few um, in the United States, so that's pretty cool. All right, we looked at GPO. All right, okay, Library of Congress. Uh, Library of Congress 
is another resource that you can look at as far as gathering information to use these government publications with or seeing what's available from the U.S. government. Um, what I want to look at here is under the little um, hamburger icon is click on education and you can see all of these educational resources that they have available. So if you are uh, in K-12 or you are looking to develop lesson plans, they have some lesson plans already created here. Um, you may just want to look at what Science Everyday Mysteries has, and which that one's a really cool one to look at, or Today in History. So this has got some ideas to build out lesson plans um, or just in general, just um, searching for things to help uh, with your research. And you can see here, you've, you can search anything. They've, they've got audio recordings, um, they have films and videos. So you might want to take a look at um, the Library of Congress the next time that you are looking for um, your um, research for whatever you're looking for. Um, the Ask a Librarian is similar to what we have at Roberts Library. Let's say you are doing a project and you're focusing on history and maybe you want to ask one of the librarians at the Library of Congress. You can do that. They have a chat Monday through Friday um, and you and it's always interesting um, to ask another librarian's opinion. So I know like sometimes if I want to know something, I might just go to another library's homepage and see what's going on, see if I can contact one of their librarians and ask them a question. And it just helps you sometimes if you're doing research and you're not really certain, or maybe you've asked um, our librarians, but you want another um, person's opinion, it's always neat to see uh, what other resources are available. So that is also something um, that you can use to connect with during your research. Um, let's take a look here, go back to the home page. Across this top here, they do have a library catalog that you can search, digital collections, um, a place where teachers can go to get um, information for helping with their um, classes and stuff like that. We do receive the Library of Congress magazine, uh, so we do get that. Um, when it comes out, it gets shipped to us. So in case you wanted to read the magazine, you can look at it here. They have podcasts. So this is a good place just to gather information. Um, and there are so many .gov websites that can um, help you when you are looking at um, using government documents in uh, your research and, um, and just college career in general. So there is the Library of Congress. Next, I'm going to look at the LibGuides. FDLP has LibGuides uh, similar to Dalton State uh, Roberts Library's LibGuides. They group them by um, whether you want to look for FDLP information, hot topics, and subject guides. Uh, the subject guides, there are 41 of those, so I'm going to click on that, and it's going to expand it out, and you can see that it has most every topic that you could think of, or it would get you in the right direction to whatever topic you were looking for. So I may be interested in K-12 resources, and that'll take you over to how you can access some of those resources. Um, so that's a great place to look for information as well when you're doing your research. And I do wanna mention that there are also LibGuides that are in Spanish, which um, they do try to um, translate a lot of the documents and a lot of the, the government sites into Spanish and have those available. So in case you are working with um, Spanish speakers and you would like to give them some information for how to access online resources through uh, the government publications and that sort of thing, you can look at this uh, Spanish language documents LibGuide and it will help guide you to help them. So like the benefits.gov, some, you know, if they're, they're looking for what, what benefits are available from the government, 
Department of Education, and it goes all the way down through uh, Veterans Benefits Administration. So that's good to know that there are um, information topics available in Spanish as well. Um, so let's click out of that. And in case you are ever inclined um, to need like pamphlets or information, um, you can, let me stop sharing my screen for a brief moment. Okay. All right. Let me turn my camera on. Okay. In case you're ever needing like pamphlets or things like that, if you're teaching a class um, and you're professor or a faculty or even just a student and you're in one of the education programs or if you're in a class presenting in, on history um, and you want to give something to your students, if you let me know well in advance, I can order these little pamphlets for you. They come from GPO, the Government Publishing Office, and inside they have, uh, it's just, a, it opens up and it's got little different resources that you can look at, um, like the civics flashcards for the naturalization test, or you might want to be looking at what happened in U.S. history. So they, they've got just brief overview on things like that. I do also, um, every year I can order the pocket constitutions. So if you are wanting to have one of those for each of your students, I can try to get those. Um, and then you can have those as giveaways. So those are um, available as well. And I have a few of these little folders uh, with information in them um, that you can pass out to a class. Or um, if you're just wanting one just to see, you know, what, what it is, you can always come by. I've got some of those available. Um, and I do always get like little bookmarks and things like that that have more information on them. So in case you want to use any information um, that we've talked about today in your class or um, just in your research, you can come by and get some things. Um, and I can always give you links to some of those government websites that I uh, mentioned. Um, and in case, let me see if I can share my screen. Hang on one second. Okay, I'm going to Okay, let me go back and share my screen. Okay. So, what I did is I just looked up the government departments and agencies. So, in case you are wondering what all sorts of things there are in the U.S. government and what kind of agencies, you can see that list here and it goes A through W and it, I'm like for E for instance, Look, let's click on that and look down. So there are so many, so many resources in the U.S. government that you can use for your, um, your research, just in general, your, um, own personal interests. <laughs> um, so that was just a very, very brief overview about government publications and our government documents collection here at Roberts Library. Um, I will have this recording uh, linked on our library. Um, let me get that pulled up for us. The LibGuide for the workshops. That way, in case you would like to look at it later, um, I do also have other um, recordings that I made previous to this workshop that are on there in case you want to look at those. And those are, are um, just like little chapters, I guess you could say. So it's, um, you can view those at your leisure. So I just put the link in the chat for the LibGuide for our workshops. Um, does anyone have any questions? I know this was very brief. It was not intended to be very in-depth, 
um, just to kind of give you an idea of that we do have a lot of information in our government publications um, that are available to you and they're free so there's you don't have to worry about paying to look at them or anything of that nature if anyone has any questions or can think of anything please type them in the chat Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.